everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about my four favorite unlikable protagonists. So, number one, Schmendrick, the magician from The Last Unicorn. So, The Last Unicorn is a classic about, um, as it says, The Last Unicorn, and uh, her journey to find the missing unicorns, all of them have disappeared from the world, and she wants to find where they've gone. So she she goes out of her glade, very peaceful and enclosed, to try and find them. And along the way, she meets uh, a lot of unique and interesting characters that try to help her on her journey. So Schmendrick is an interesting character because he's very out there to prove himself. He believes he can be better than what he is presently, but he has a hard time getting up the courage to actually do anything in the story. So he's very much a passive main character. And it's interesting following him because he doesn't have the skills or the wits to do... <laughs> that sounds terrible. Uh, he, he's just very much an inactive agent in, in the story, um, but thinks he's better than he proves to be repeatedly. Um, he has his good deeds here and there, but time and time again he shows that he's just not up to snuff. And he, he makes the hard decisions when he really has to, but it's a long journey to get there. Our next unlikable protagonist is Tess from Tess of the Road by Rachel Hartman. Almost forgot to give you a synopsis. Tess of the Road is um, a companion series to the Serafina series. Um, it's about dragons and a lot of cool stuff. So in Tess of the Road specifically, we follow Tess, one of Serafina, the main character of the other series. Uh, we follow her journey to find herself and kind of break away from the the expectations of her family. Now, Tess is a character that I ended up liking a lot by the end of the story, but throughout, it was hard to get behind her. Um, but as you go, you really get to know her and you get to see the, um, the factors behind the decisions she makes and the reasons why she is the way she is, all the pressure from her family, uh, her parents, things like that, and just the legacy left behind by her family that makes her feel like she's not good enough or that she has to try harder. Um, but as we go, we see that she has a lot of potential and she grows a lot throughout the story and really finds herself and becomes her own person. But she, she was pretty insufferable to start, um, so I'm glad that um, as the story went on, she got better and the reading experience was more enjoyable as a result. Our third unlikable protagonist, or at least my one of my favorite unlikable protagonists, is Darrow from Re the series, or the book, Red Rising. Um, so the reason he makes this list, and I'm sure a lot of you shared the sentiment, is because he makes these decisions that are just so <sighs> annoying. <laughs> and you know that he's trying to do what's best for everyone, um, and he's stuck between a rock and a hard place most of the time. So it's understandable that these decisions are tough, and I couldn't say I would do any better in his situation, but um, it's really heartening to see how much he's grown, but also sticks to his guns and uh, follows what he believes in. Um, but a lot of times those choices are uh, very hard to watch, especially the results and how things can blow up in his face. Um, a lot of times I found myself thinking, why would you do that? Why would you say that? Why would you go there? Why would you do this thing when it's clearly a bad idea, but he felt in his, in his heart it was the right thing to do, um, so I can't really blame him for that, but as the reading goes, it was pretty rough. Finally, our, our last unlikable protagonist is John Mandrake. So John Mandrake is the protagonist of the Bartimaeus trilogy, uh, which I've read recently and I'm loving, but John. John, John, John. So, for those of you who don't know, it is, I believe, a middle grade series about magicians, and um, John is a relatively young magician in this world. He uh, was an apprentice at the start, and by the end he has climbed his way through the ranks, but he just makes all the wrong choices. And you can see throughout the story that he's battling with his morality and things like that, but it's just not a good time. He, he definitely is going down an unfavorable path, and he has a lot of outside influences that, um, that sway his decisions. 
usually for the worst. And um, you want so much for him to make the right choice. And he almost never does. Same thing, but there are many, many other frustrations to add to the list. So those are my top four favorite unlikable characters. Tell me what you think in the comments. Who are your top four or five? You could have more or less. Yeah, see you next time.